Greetings, men and women from north, south, east, and west. Hi, I'm back, and thank you for joining my spiritual channel, Apple Tree. Today, we are discussing the power of prayer. We are discussing a thankful miracle prayer. Yes, I will teach you a thankful miracle prayer today. Let us pray. Lord, please open our minds to understand the Bible. Open our eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. Give us understanding so that we can desire to know you better. And let your Holy Spirit guide us into the truth. In Jesus' name, amen. So, again, today we are learning about miracles and how we can pray for miracles. And we're going to pray for a thankful miracle. And let me tell you, since everything is possible for God, you can experience miracles in your life when you invite God to intervene, even in the situations that seem impossible. But too often people neglect to ask God for miracles in their lives and end up settling for far less than God's best for them. So you can use this prayer today for a miracle when you're ready to ask God to take over. You can always approach God with confidence if you trust in his son, Jesus Christ. So don't hesitate to pray about anything, including miracles. Here's a thankful miracle prayer I would like to teach you and share with you today. As we bow our heads before prayer, repeat after me. Heavenly Father, thank you for answering my prayers and performing miracles in my life every day. Just the fact that I woke up this morning and can take a breath is a gift from you. Help me to never take my health and loved ones for granted. Help me to always stand in faith and keep my focus on you when unexpected circumstances arise. In Jesus' name, amen. So let me tell you, there is a scripture that supports miracles. There's scriptures all throughout the Bible that supports miracles. But one main scripture I want you to remember when you go before God, thanking him and asking him for miracles, is Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. And it says here, Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Not just some things are possible. Not just a few things are possible. Not just maybe it's possible. No, scripture. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26 says, With God, all things are possible. So now that we know that, we're going to pray that thankful miracle prayer again. And this time we're going to have confidence and trusting in the Son, Jesus Christ, God's Son. We're going to go and approach God on our knees, head bowed. In prayer, we got scripture that we can even pray with now. Matthew 19, 26. So let us bow our heads and let us pray again. A thankful miracle prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for answering my prayers and performing miracles in my life every day. Just the fact that I woke up this morning and can take a breath is a gift from you. Help me to never take my health and loved ones for granted. Help me to always stand in faith and keep my focus on you when unexpected circumstances arise. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to say that prayer just one more time. Like, I want to say it with my mind my body and my soul like i want to really mean what i say and say what i mean and i'm going to quote the scripture at this time so one more time because you can never pray too much heavenly father thank you for answering my prayers 
and performing miracles in my life every day. Just the fact that I woke up this morning and can take a breath is a gift from you. Help me to never take my health and loved ones for granted. Help me to always stand in faith and keep my focus on you when unexpected circumstances arise. God, I believe in your holy scriptures as said in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. With God, all things are possible. When we trust in your son, Jesus Christ. So God, we are trusting in you, answering our prayers and delivering a miracle in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Ask, believe, and receive. If you want to build your confidence in God, if you want to have faith in his son, Jesus Christ, then don't hesitate to pray about anything, including miracles. And do you know that savior salvation alone is a miracle? Being saved is a miracle? Because in the Bible, Jesus emphasizes that salvation depends on God's love, mercy, and kindness. Really, no one deserves it. We're saved by God's grace. We can't earn salvation. We are saved by God's grace. When we have faith in his son, Jesus Christ, all you have to do is believe you are a sinner and that Christ died for your sins. And you can ask him for forgiveness. You can repent and ask for forgiveness daily and turn away from your sins. That is called repentance. Because let me tell you, Jesus Christ knows you. He knows you and he loves you, man and woman. And what matters to him is the attitude of your heart, your honesty. Accept Christ as your savior today and count it as a miracle alone. So let us bow our heads and pray. I will lead those who want to dedicate and rededicate their lives back to Christ into salvation. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he died for my sins and that you raised him to life. I want to trust him as my savior and follow him as Lord from this day forward. Guide my life and help me to do your will. I pray this. In the name of Jesus, amen. Congratulations, my brothers and sisters, those of you who have accepted to pick up your cross and follow Christ. There is a room in heaven just for you, and that is scripture, John 14, 2. Also scripture, Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So congratulations. Just remember to be a doer and not just a sayer. Also supported by scripture, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So I pray to God through the trusting and the faith of his son, Jesus Christ, that all of my subscribers and viewers, family and friends, and myself will be not only sayers, but doers of your will, God. So in closing prayer, my brothers and sisters, thank you. Thank you so much for, for tuning in to my channel, Apple Tree. Thank you, God, for this time. God, thank you for saving my subscribers. Thank you, for, thank you God, for saving my viewers. Thank you, God, for saving my family. Thank you, God, for saving my friends. And thank you, God, for saving me. God, thank you for this opportunity to share my faith. God, thank you for your word. Holy Spirit, thank you for leading us into truth. Jesus, thank you for dying for our sins. 
Father God, teach us how you want us to apply your word in our lives. And Lord, please keep us from drifting away from your word. God, give us a fire and a desire to pray more every day. And God, again, I thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, please like and share this video and subscribe if you want. And if there is a prayer request, you can leave a comment of a prayer request or any comment you leave below. I'm going to pray for you. May God protect you. May God bless you. And may God keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.